Hey there, Cosmonauts, and welcome to another Slab City update. Yeah, this week's been kind of busy, to be honest with you. <coughs> uh, for starters, on Tuesday, had a... Uh, shot a rap video out here that I'll be in talked a little bit about it in one of my other videos uh, um, the one about uh, collaborating with Victoria X rave uh, I'll put a link up here um, if, if you haven't seen that I'll give you more details about that but here's a couple of little clippets that I can actually share with you because it doesn't give too much away but yeah here's some footage from when I had a video crew here. As I mentioned before, like I made that video trying to collaborate with uh, Victoria X Rave, and boy, was there an outlashing of stuff on that. Oh, I found it actually quite entertaining um, how triggered people got and and things like that. It was like, wow, just trying to have a little bit of fun here, and. Looking to collaborate with a young lady that I think is probably going to go someplace uh, with the YouTube. She's funny. Like, I enjoy watching her channel when uh, when a little notification comes up that uh, she's got a new video out. Puts a little smile on my face. I go check it right away. So why wouldn't I want to work with somebody like that? And yeah, you know, that's what I'm looking to do is actually work. But wow, talk about misplaced... Uh, judgments on what what my intentions are my intentions are to make videos like that is my intention uh i do find her to be adorable but you know i'm not expecting anything to happen of it so i think it would be actually nice uh to have a friend inside the youtube industry because often things that happen to us only happen to us when we try to explain them to other people, they just get this drawn look on their face because they can't relate. So it would be nice to have a friend uh, that is in the industry and can do that. There's an awful lot of judgment about, oh, I don't think she would want to come out there and smell you cooking meat. When I said very specifically in the video, a, a, a not-so-vegan meal, and by that not so vegan, I mean, if you watch her channel, she recently announced that she does eat egg whites and something else. I forgot what that is. But so she's not a 100 percent vegan. Like I can cook those type of meals. It's not a problem at all. I ate vegetarian and vegan for 18 months. And again, one of the reasons why uh, I am wanting to collaborate with her is because I'm about to turn 50. And maybe it's time for me to start taking a little bit better care of my body, assuming how I'm not going to die. Uh, and it would be nice, again, to have the support of somebody like that as a friend. So, yeah. I mean, that's why I want to do it. And I want to do the video because I want to do other stuff outside of me just talking to you. Um... I did have actually fun making that. In fact, I had so much fun making that that I was like, hmm, people been asking about Zane an awful lot. I should make a video on that and not borrow anything from it so I could monetize it. Um, <laughs> so that's what I did. It was like, oh, I'll make them first 
my thinking was, was like, oh, I'll make him first think that, you know, maybe something happened to him and things like that. And then I'll just try to explain to you that you guys need some boundaries on what you ask of people that you don't know on the Internet just because just subscribe to us. You know, and the reality of it is I've been doing the YouTube game for a minute. And I will have to say that not very many other YouTubers in this area had people coming to my page and asking, oh, have you seen this? Have you seen this? Have you seen this? And you know why? Because people don't self-promote the way Zane does. I'm 80% sure that anything that comes with a Zane Green tag is probably Zane Green promoting his channel and like give him props for that. <laughs> you know, a ain't hating, but that's the reality of it. Like, corn has disappeared and not posted for a long time. And I might get one person asking, uh, I don't get 10 people asking. So I'm pretty sure that most of the stuff is just Zane. And you, and for the other people, you've been told time and time again. That he's had been seen, but no, 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 gotta ask me, gotta ask me, gotta ask me. Our channels are different. You know, we're not the same people. We're not collaborating together on that project. But we'll have to thank Zane for the couple of pennies that I'm getting kicked down for that video from the people visiting it. Anyways, let's see what else. Oh, Friday, there was a range. And a band from El Centro that's been coming out here, I think, pretty much as long as I have, by the name of uh, Chico Suave, uh, actually brought a group of bands with them and put on a show for us on Friday. Here's a little clip of that. And of course, there was the range on Saturday, um, which was probably the last time Corn's gonna play there in a while. So, show you a little bit of that. Hi guys, I'm Cornelius Van Gogh. I run the well. I recently, if you ran the library here in Sled City, but uh, now I'm heading north to Alaska. This is gonna be my last range for a good while. So I'll try not to bomb this time. Do what you want. Right. <laughs> I've not been practicing. 25 years and my life is still trying to get up that great big hill of hope for a destination.
little bit of David performing at the range as well. Right for nobody, right for the moon. Talk to God, talk to a spoon. Walk with me just for a while. Just opened up some, uh, uh, some mail packages that I got in the mail. Let's go ahead and watch those. Hey there, Cosmonauts. So yeah, the other day, uh, Joshua Tree Jim posted on uh, one of the videos that I should check my mailbox in a couple of days. I did go check it. Um, and not only was there a package from him, there was also a package from uh, another gentleman named John who's ordered a couple of t-shirts from me. So let's let's dive in and see what's all in the boxes. Oh. We'll do gems first. Parmesan cheese, gotta love that. That's always good. Uh, hot sauce, cock sauce, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some Thai spice, uh, seasoned tuna, and cracker snacks, right on. Dijon mustard. Uh, uh, the label's a little messed up, but it's some. Uh, creamy mushroom sauce with some kind of pasta. Uh, some good old uh, uh, taco chip cookies. Coffee. More coffee. Appreciate that. Was actually running low. Perfect timing. Yeah, yeah. Probably had a pot or two left, but yeah, it was getting close to the end. Ooh, some mints. Ooh, that smells really good. And uh, some soap. Well, thank you, Jim. I appreciate that, as always. This is from John. Uh, I... Oh, maybe it's not the same, John, because it's got a different address. Oh, wait. I think I... I, I do think I remember, anyways. Cardboard. I don't know what's in there, so I don't want to damage anything. I usually know that uh, Jim is sending me some sort of food product, so I feel okay about going in a little bit rougher. Ooh, foam. Got ourselves a letter. That needs to shine. This thing wasn't tiny at all. Oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Look at that beauty. Wow, yeah, now I can see why why this was heavy. Wow. Damn, damn. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> And now I'm really worried about damaging anything that may be in here and he's got everything taped.
look at that thing. I don't know if it's focusing or not, but that thing is beautiful. Wow. Thank you, John. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully I'll get this all edited and up today and you can see it now. That's the end of this week's episode. Anyways, peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Send Carl some money on PayPal so he can buy himself something to eat. Then he won't have to sell his body to Albanian men on the street. We're broke hippies living out in the desert, no money and no shoes. And he may smoke the marijuana, but at least he won't spend it on booze. If you enjoy Kaz's videos with their off the grid DIY vibe, send Kaz some money on PayPal or like, share, and